I'm going to build a CNC machine and it's uh, based on the aux um, from open builds i've ordered everything from aliexpress to see if i can get a working machine and also because my budget is pretty low so this is the unboxing of the controller and stepper motors there are three stepper motors and three stepper motor drivers and a controller board based on planet cnc I think I didn't know at the time I didn't realize but um, that's what I got and that's what's included in the kit this is the driver it's an uh, FMD uh, 2740C and um, I've tested it and it uh, appears to be working something that I noticed is you can't set the um, drivers to full step only from half step and on up to 128 that's the power supply, 350 watt, 36 volts, I think 11 amps, and these are the stepper motor drivers, nicely packed in foam. It has a double drive shaft, so you can make adjustments manually. Some wires are shorted, so it uh, runs a little bit heavier. Box is a bit dirty from the lubrication. This is the controller board. It has nice connectors to connect everything using uh, screw connectors. And a software CD with instruction manual. All in nice Chinglish. The controller is nicely wrapped in the uh, anti static bag. And um, soldering looks reasonably okay. It's not too bad. With a lot of connectors, USB, uh, it's uh, mainly USB controlled. And there's a port for a remote control, wired. Four stepper motors can be uh, directly controlled. And you can also control the VFD for the spindle. You can turn it on and off, set the RPMs and you can adjust reverse and forward direction control and here's the driver again uh, close up and i've opened it up have a look inside the driver uh, chip is on the other side you see the legs protruding through the board and there are some optocouplers and a big diode to protect reverse voltage and a heatsink. It's a nice package. Here's a closer look of the power supply. It's a standard rail mount uh, power supply. It should be mounted in a in a bigger box because of the terminals that can be touched which is potentially very dangerous some of them have a small plastic cap over them but this one doesn't i 
I've opened up the power supply to have a look inside and I can't see any immediate problems so far. I didn't want to get it out all of the way, but it seems like a standard power supply. There is a uh, fuse on the entrance of the, of the AC input. That's always a good thing. So, let's uh, have a test with one motor. When turning on you hear the um, relays click. You can see that the stepper motor can't keep up because the steps per second are too high. It's probably because of the firmware is set up for a higher speed. But also you can control uh, the speed with a potentiometer. But that one isn't connected, so the input is open. And that may cause some problems um, with some static electricity on it. it. It can have different settings based on the um, electromagnetic uh, radiation that's uh, on the pin. So sometimes it can be low, sometimes it can be high. It, so it's recommended to put a, a poten potentiometer on, uh, on the input. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you like, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.